But yeah, Black Ops 3, uh, Infinite Warfare, people, was asking my friend a question about Infinite Warfare, and he said, he said, I said something to him that, will Exo Zombies come back? Well, he, he wants Exo Zombies, he only has the first map for his PS4, and he wanted to get all the season pass for the Advanced Warfare, I'm like, we need to get all the maps because all the maps is look all easy. So he got no idea what I was talking about. But he did well what I was talking about earlier. Uh, he was gonna try Infinite Warfare. Now, I don't know if you guys wanted me to try Infinite Warfare tonight, but I'm just gonna try it. So the multiplayer like you said and some stuff away. But, uh, but people are telling me, just don't play it, please. I'm like, no, I want to play it for my fans and be playing it. Let's keep playing the game. I'll just play the freaking game and then <laughs> people are going to tell me why I play the game. Well, it's my choice. It's my choice play the game or not, but people want to really play the game as some do, some don't. And my friend wants to play it, he wants to play it, and I want to play it too. Like, it looks pretty awesome to me, it's pretty awesome stuff that i never seen before, and like, I heard it's okay game, and I'm People don't like it because it's based off Advanced Warfare, a remake of it, and I don't think it's, it won't be turned out that way. It won't. I don't see that it won't turn out that way. Because I'm sure Advanced Warfare is, go is not gonna, it's, it's gonna be like it, but... It's not gonna be like it. Well, it's not, it's not gonna be like it, but Infinite Warfare is way different than Infinite Warfare. Ex you know why? Because Infinite Warfare is a war zone for the robotic, and uh, Infinite Warfare is in space. So if you don't get the concept, I want you to look at it and look at the rest. Okay? You're in the war. You're, in, you're on Earth. Infinite Warfare. You're in space. You're in an aircraft in space. If you don't, you know, let me see myself again. If you don't get it, you're in the war zone in Earth. And the war zone is in space. So if you get the comp set, advanced warfare is on Earth fighting guns and as people on Earth like grass and forest. Infinite warfare. Is fighting an aircraft in space. So yeah, that's what I like about. I like aircrafts. I like space. Who doesn't like space? Like it's best of my day. Like, space, is my space is my favorite. So I want to try space and see what goes. It doesn't go well. This is what I'm afraid about is about the storyline. I'm afraid of the storyline and stuff and sometimes it's not gonna go so well or something. Because I'm I am afraid of talking that if the storyline might go bad or well. And I want the storyline to go well. I want sometimes I wanna go bad. I want it to go bad and stuff. Why well, well, I want to go bad? I want it to go bad or something. If going bad is really good. If it depends on good and bad, the storyline it is. Uh, the first I've been planning about Call of Duty Ghost is actually the storyline. I think you're planning the storyline to see will it go well. Probably. But I was playing the storyline about it and 
And the storyline is very, very decent. I was ready, everybody was ready, and the multiplayer was terrible. The extension was very, a little bit terrible, but very good. They had no zombies. People wanted zombies, and I'm saying storyline is decent, the multiplayer is terrible, and I still play it at my grandma's house. Because I can't play online or nothing to do Because I want to play these games for you guys. And this is my new channel, Godzilla134. You'll see it's an awesome game. If you haven't been on my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And we'll, I'll, you'll make sure what's updated or not. But, okay, and. Yeah, I don't like, um, I like Spring Line and, and Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare was awesome. I've seen some really good, really some good, really some good storyline about it, and I love the storyline. Like, Black Ops 2 was really, really excellent. It was really, really excellent. We love all of Black Ops. Just Black Ops, we root for Black Ops, we need to say something about Black Ops. But yeah, Black Ops 2 was amazing. World at War was the bomb, was the truth, and was very good. If you haven't played it, go play it for PS3 or Xbox 360, but it, it is really good. And I love, it was the first zombie map, and I loved the room of the zombies. It scared the heck out of me. I loved it. Don't make fun of it. <laughs> it's really fun. I like playing this, the zombie map. That's the, it only gives you one zombie map, just like Black Ops 3. But I think they could have done more of the zombies. Just put, just put, make the room a little bit big. But they, it was okay. I love the storyline. It was, it was a lot better. They had Reznov as a Soviet Russian, and uh, and yeah, we all love, we all love the freaking storyline. We adored, we adored World at War, and World at War was the longest or the first zombie map ever. And I hope they'll make more of a world at war. And I've been telling my friends that they should make another world at war. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, heck yeah, they should do that, guys. I'm like, sure. If they if they didn't make Call of Duty Ghost, that will be fine, fully fine. I'll I'll be like, yes, no Ghost. But they just had to make it anyways. They could have made. They could have made. World, world at war, but they just had to choose Ghost. This Ghost is a freaking terrible game. And my brother played it and he wasted his money for it and stuff. He wasted it. He wasted it. Like, totally waste all his money to buy that game and to achieve. The tours, doing good things, playing schoolwork. Oh man, he wasted his money. And I. When I play multiplayer, how bad <laughs> that multiplayer is, how bad it was, and I don't like multiplayer. Some of you will be hating on me, like, "Hey, no, multiplayer is good. Don't stop saying that." I'm like, "No, multiplayer is terrible. I hate multiplayer. It is the terrible. That's my that's my own opinion and stuff. That's what I'm just gonna say." I love the extinction. They should have done better with it. Like extinction was very, very terrible. And they should have done more to it. Like just put add, add, add. Just like Xenomorph. Not just joking. That's just my character, and they'll be copyright. So I want them. They should have put Xenomorphs. Like they should have. They should have put Xenomorphs in the game because that would have been. Amazing, we could attack the xenomorphs, baby xenomorphs, we could have attacked anything, we could have attacked them. So that's why they they should that's 
looks like they should have put Xenomorphs in it. Yeah, they should have put Xenomorphs because that will be in my favorite. I'm in love with Xenomorphs. I'm in love with the Xenomorphs. So the Xenomorphs are my favorite. Because the Xenomorphs, they rock. They rock my world. They rock my life. They rock my brain. They rock everybody's brain. Like, I wanna tell the tell Activision to make a Xenomorph. Because that will be a great idea. To tell their fans, hey, we're gonna make a Xenomorph. We're gonna put them in. Yeah, that would've been fine. That would've been really good. I would've. That would've been really good. Like, I've been like, heck yeah, we can have these Xenomorphs. Oh yeah, I'll be playing this. And I would be playing it because if you don't know the Alien vs. Predator game, it's it's a very old game now and it's it's on PS3 and I can't buy it because there there's no there's no point of getting it <laughs> at this time. When I get older I'll probably get it for my PS3. Record it. But right for right now they're, they're out of sell and I try to go to stores everywhere. I try my best to get the game and buy it and try it out because the gameplay is awesome. And I've been trying my best to get the game, but the game I only have Alien Colonial Marines that I actually adored. I adored it because you could play like Xenomorphs and it and Marines. It's really fun. You should play. You should play, guys. You should. But don't just don't waste your money, okay? I'm. I'm. If you if you don't want to play it and you don't want to waste your money on it, that's my own. That's, that's, that's my own. That's my own opinion. If I like it or not, my, I like. I love it because. It's, okay, I watch a Xenomorph. Like Xenomorph are my favorite. My favorite, favorite, favorite creatures and aliens. So yeah, I love these animals. They, they just—they're smart. The predators are too. I'm in love with predators. Predators are my favorite because they really, really enjoy killing people and making skulls. Yeah, that's right, people. They make skulls. They use it as their order now. Like, yeah, I want that as a collection too. Like, I want the collection of that. Yeah, I want a collection. Yeah, I want to choose that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Choose that too. And they're like choosing everything. If you haven't watched Alien vs. Predator the movie, it's with the guy that married Mika Joviet or something that plays Resident Evil as Alice. <laughs> But they really played it. She really played it, and there will be a final movie of the Resident Evil series that's been going on for so long. And fi final but not least, we're just gonna have a blast and get ready for for my favorite, my favorite, favorite game. <sighs> Got to say this. Yes, yes, you have, you have to, you have to. Ah. Uh, Okay, I have to. They're making Elder Scrolls 6. Which is gonna be my favorite game. Which is gonna be a blast. Some people don't find Elder Scrolls amazing, but Elder Scrolls is just a game where you're just a villager and you're just you're just a villager. Let's just say that. You're a villager going to become a dragonborn that's right people you become a dragonborn as a villager as a viking as anything and you become a werewolf that was not true it was fictional it was fictional 
Like, the thing is fictional, guys. And I love fictional. Like, I don't like the Twilight. Yes, I do like the Twilight. I watch it with my mom. I watch it with my mom sometimes, and... Like, I like... Just... But I do like... Twilight, and I like... And I like all the Twilight series. Twilight helps me focus on some stuff. I get focus on vampires, werewolves, but I like both. But yeah, I like both. <laughs> and after I do this last request, I want you to check out Reverend. And he he does plants vs. Plants vs. Zombies. Which is really fun. I'll watch him doing gameplay of it this morning. You should go check his. You should go at him and stuff because he is a real. Excuse me. A really amazing person or kid. But he does those type of games and you'll you'll enjoy him. He'll he'll blow your mind. If you ask him questions like COD and stuff or Plants vs Zombies. He'll tell you on that game. He'll just tell you any question. Because right now me and him is getting really good views and some bad views. And I did like 15, 16, or 18, 20 comments before he ended his video. Because his friend was being a butthole. I'm not being mean or nothing, yes I am. But his, he, he got a lot of views. I supported him by doing comments and stuff and like in his videos that's supporting and that's really good like and that's what I want to do so I want to help people support them get good subscribers and stuff which is very good when you actually sub when you actually sub a person it's just like <laughs> You just sub to him, and I'm like, I don't, don't, that person's like, I don't care. It doesn't matter, really. It's just, it's, it's a difficult way to make money, but I'm sure when he grows up, he's gonna make money. He's gonna make more money than me, or actually, we'll make more money, we'll both make more money. But right now, on the list, is making more money is pretty high, because <laughs> I love his channel. Because his channel is really hilarious. And don't forget H2O, Delirious, and Van Austin, Homewreck, and some all of those. Because they are amazing. Go check them out. And the first thing you'll first is find Louis Caliber. He's not when I'm when I'm hearing from people of Lou Cal Lou Caliber's fans that he's not making videos right now, he'll make them because he's doing money. That's what I heard from from my my friends, my my friend friend, that he has friends. His name is Fast Killer. He told me that Louis Caliber is still making money, and that's why he's not uploading videos. And you're welcome. That I'm telling you this information, and you're welcome because Louis Caliber is currently not making no more videos for right now. That's what I'm hearing about. Um, Spatula. Uh, that's what I'm hearing from Spatula. That he had talked to one of these persons, the the guys that did the camera and stuff, and helped Louis Calvers editing his videos. He told me he he talked to them and he, I'm like, he talked to them the first thing you know before I met him. He. I'm like, what is Louis Caliber doing? I'm like, what is Louis Caliber doing? And he's like, he's not making, he's, he's, make, he's not, he's not making no more videos for right now, but he is making money. I'm like, what, what do you mean? When, well, he said, you'll figure it out. And I'm like, well, well, I was like, well, if he's making money, then what kind of money? I don't know. But Lou Calvert is still not making videos right now and I hope in the future that he'll keep that kid voice. It's not a voice changer, it's just 
He's, he's still making video. He's still making money, but he'll make videos soon in the future when he gets done making money. And he still makes money. He'll make money. So he's still making money. And you're welcome, guys, if you're wa if you're watching this on YouTube or seeing me live streaming this. Uh, that's good. Like that'll be good. That's good. So yeah, so I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit the next YouTuber off. It'll be Cryotic. He's still making videos with with PewDiePie and stuff, but he's not making no more videos on his channel. What I've when I've heard from the article, he's doing he's doing bad things like getting drugs and stuff and I feel bad for this guy. Like I feel bad for him. I feel bad for him, he's doing drugs and alcohol because he's feeling poor right now and I don't I don't want Cry to do that stuff. Like he's doing that stuff right now, like I feel bad for him because he's doing drugs and alcohol yeah, making himself use feel useful and stuff. And that's what I that's what I'm really shocked about because because I feel bad for him, and he's doing drugs, so yeah, he's doing a bunch of stuff that is really bad for him, and he's doing healthy stuff, but he's doing bad things, and I, that's what really gets me, is that he's doing, he's doing bad things right now, and then, first thing you know, he does good things right now, he's doing bad things for, for him, because he's feeling really poor right now, and he's, not getting too much views and that's what I get from the art pool so yeah I hope you'll you'll like cry I hope you'll if he's watching this uh, that's good um watch it cry I hope you feel better and I hope you'll and someday in the future you'll you won't, you won't have to do art you won't have to do alcohol and stuff. But yeah, he's doing alcohol and stuff, so I feel bad for this guy. And people are shocked from Cry is that he's doing drugs and and getting laid a lot. And I'm I'm feeling bad for this guy, so I hope you will support him and stuff for him doing bad things. Like he actually did good bad things. So yeah, and the next YouTuber is PewDiePie. Okay, I talked to him about earlier. He's is doing bad things, and he is—he's not doing bad things. He's just arguing with some YouTuber called Keemstar. And Keemstar is one of the annoying YouTubers of all, and the, an idiotic YouTuber. The stupidest YouTubers that I ever seen, and that's what I'm what I've heard from from people. Teamstar, they're talking about Teamstar. And what I don't get from Teamstar that he's replying, he's replying to PewDiePie and talking about him because he because Teamstar roasts PewDiePie by making fun of his video. This is why I don't get. It. He is roasting him, and I am really shocked that he's roasting him. And I don't like people roasting each other. And and that's the bad news. So yeah, just just if someone if can someone roast him, just roast him. Someone roast Keemstar, please. If you roast Keemstar for me, I'll give you a shout out on YouTube and live stream and it will be a free 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 shout out and the one it could be it could be a lot of shout outs I can do that but but uh if they're talking about Q-Pie please if you're fans of Q-Pie that's good if you're not and you're fans of Q-Pie so that's good if you're not a fan of Q-Pie and I watch your videos 
And I really feel bad for him at this point. But yeah, it's still and yeah, and speak of a PewDiePie, him and Cry are doing more videos. But don't worry. They're both making videos together. And second off we have So bad for this dude. His name is Simitoken. Okay, why why I'm gonna start it off with Simitoken? I'm not saying he's a bad YouTuber. I'm saying <laughs> he makes me laugh. He makes me laugh a lot in his videos. And right now he's getting really good reviews. And he's getting really good reviews, that's what I'm saying. He's getting really good reviews. And, so, and you have to support this guy. Like, and you have to support this guy. Because Summit Toast Ken is very funny. Summit Toast Ken is the funniest guy of them all. Like, I don't know. Like, I support Summit Toast Ken because he's. He's a little bit off sometimes. Plus, Sematos Ken is funny. So, I mean, if you like Sematos Ken, support him. And the, the, the third one off, we have Marcia. Uh, Marcia is really doing good, I'm guessing, because Marcia, what I'm hearing from Pewds is that. Marcia is really, really getting vulgar and stuff in front of Pewds, and Pewds are like, Pewds is like talking about Marcia, and but she's doing bad things, she's doing bad things lately, and that's what I'm very, very extremely shocked. I am a fan of her. She is PewDiePie's girlfriend. Or boyfriend, whatever, and uh, they both they both are lovebirds. But um, I don't know why it said it said important that Marcia was doing very bad things, and I got really upset. And this is what I've heard from from Pews that. If Marcia doesn't stop, he's going to hurt himself. And I'm like, no. You hurt yourself. That's bad. That's just bad. That's not a good... That's not. That's not good. And Marcia is first going to do bad things. But she's not cheating on pubes or nothing. She's just doing girly stuff like girly stuff to like girly stuff like perfume and stuff I should care about dudes. and that's what I've loved about since when they first got together but yeah this this is all I have for now but thank you if you like this subscribe and I hope I hope tomorrow or tonight I'll some I'll do more of these, cause <laughs> these are really shock news and one great news. So yeah, I'll give you some news and stuff. Well, what they have to say. So bye. See you later. And thank you.